Orthopedic surgeon James Pritchett is removing a metal-on-metal -metal hip implant that has developed metallosis, an adverse tissue reaction to metal debris. But there isn't a specific blood test or a skin test or an x-ray or an MRI or any, anything else you can conclusively use to tell a patient uh, that you are likely or not likely to get a, a metal reaction. Metallosis can show up as a dark fluid in a patient's hip joint. It's caused by cobalt chromium, a heavy metal used in joint implants. Dr. Pritchett has seen it so often, he has his own fluid collection. These are all serious. Every one of these patients needed additional surgery to deal with their problem. A normal joint would only have between 5 and 15 cc's of joint fluid, and it would be completely yellow and clear. So there's too much, it's too cloudy, and it's too dark. 47-year-old Robin Sowers selected metal-on-metal -metal hip implants for her joint resurfacing three years ago. When her hip started hurting recently, she didn't want to believe it might be metallosis. I was like... Nah, that <laughs> can't be it. I just, I had a lot of faith in the implant. But it was metallosis. And during her revision surgery with Dr. Pritchett, he removed two full syringes of brown fluid from her hip. She initially had a very good functional outcome. So we know that she's not just overall intrinsically sensitive to the metal. Most patients with metallosis can switch to a polyethylene bearing and be fine. But for Robin, who was still young and didn't want a total hip replacement, Metal gives her the highest function and least wear for her active lifestyle, which is why she opted for a metal implant again. I didn't think I was going to choose that. I was like, oh, no, I'm not going anywhere near that metal stuff again. As I started looking into the, the realities and the risks associated with all of the different options, I came back to metal. Just in my case, partly because I have a large hip. If I was a smaller woman, I wouldn't have done it. She could have another metal reaction. She absolutely could. But the chance of it's low, about 10%. Among patients that I have long-term follow-up that I've revised from one metal-on-metal -metal offering to another, 90% of the time, that's solved their problem. In Seattle, this is Mark Christopher.